expect of Conservatives? Now, what do we expect from Conservatism? Traditionally speaking, Conservatives value liberty, independence, freedom, mixed with respect for tradition. It literally means to conserve, to maintain. To put these ideals into a wider context, Conservatism would protect our culture and historic way of life. To do this, it must protect our borders. Open borders and protection of Britain's traditional values cannot coexist. So where does that leave today's Conservative Party in the UK? Have the Conservatives protected our borders? Absolutely not. In this regard, Britain has been betrayed. I only need to look at the last few weeks to demonstrate this. In Kent, record numbers of illegal immigrants are simply walking into Britain. They are walking into our towns and cities. Nobody knows who they are or what they're doing here, but they walk in unimpeded. Knowing full well that people are already struggling in this country, knowing how long NHS queues are, how long housing queues are, how widespread crime is, the Conservative government does nothing to stop this influx and is adding to it by opening up to tens of thousands of arrivals from Afghanistan. These levels of immigration are transforming the country and that transformation will continue. Britain is already barely recognisable. What will it look like in 20, 30, 40 years? It won't look, look like Britain, that's for sure. Closely aligned to its betrayal of Britain in failing to protect our borders, the Conservative Party betrayed us on the EU as well. It betrayed Britain's independence and self-determination. Yes, it was the Conservative Party that brought us a referendum on EU membership, but then fought tooth and nail to keep us in. When the result didn't go the way the Conservatives wanted, many of its MPs joined with Labour and the Liberal Democrats to scupper any real withdrawal from the EU. There has been no control of our borders, as we were promised. There has been no restoration of Britain's fishing waters, as promised. In fact, our decimated coastal communities <coughs> remain decimated. They too were betrayed by the Tories. Regarding fishing, this is what the EU withdrawal agreement contains. EU boats will continue to fish in UK waters for some years to come. There will be annual negotiations to decide how the catch is shared out between the UK and EU. The UK would have the right to completely exclude EU boats after 2026. But the EU could respond with taxes on exports of British fish to the EU or by denying UK boats access to EU waters. In other words, the Tories put a sticking plaster on the fishing issue and kicked it into the long grass. They did nothing to ensure the restoration of fishing on British coastlines and secured no agreement on exports or taxes in the years to come. Moving on, what of our fundamental freedoms? These are supposed to be important to Conservatives. Nevertheless, we currently live in a Britain where you can be arrested for saying men are not women. Our freedom of speech has been utterly betrayed. We also live in a Britain where you can face police persecution for pointing out that the religion of peace might not be so peaceful after all. Police record non-crime hate incidents. So even when you haven't committed a crime, the police record your activities to be used against you in the future. They even have hate crime cars now. The situation is frightening, and all of it is happening under a Conservative government. This is not freedom. The Tories have betrayed us. Meanwhile, elsewhere, the UK is to spend billions on so-called climate change. And you can expect to have your ability to buy and sell your car or your house regulated in the future. None of this amounts to conservatism. In economic terms, conservatives would traditionally be associated with free markets and low taxation, 
as the most effective method of creating wealth and raising living standards. Are the Conservatives true to this? No, it's another betrayal. The COVID pandemic demonstrates this perfectly. Small and medium business, the backbone of the British economy and its largest employer, was decimated during the lockdown. Now that lockdown is over, the Conservative Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak, is set to raise taxes to pay the coronavirus bill. That means that small business, already struggling prior to the pandemic due to excessive taxation, will be taxed even more. A business can't afford to be taxed any further. Individuals can't afford to be taxed any further. If the Conservatives were Conservative, they would instead lower taxes and allow small and medium businesses to get back on their feet and create jobs. But once again, business has been betrayed. Conservative economic policy has been betrayed. And those looking for work have been betrayed. The Conservative Party, since the end of the Thatcher era, have signed up to just about every globalist plan in existence. It has sold out our sovereignty on the EU, opened our borders to all and sundry. It has signed up completely to the climate change fiasco. It has removed our civil liberties and individual freedoms. It has created a society of crippling taxation. It has betrayed its own pensioners and slashed standards in the NHS. It has done all of this in a few short decades. It has betrayed us. Most major political parties in the Western world are doing exactly the same things. They're not in charge. They are not acting in the interests of their people. They are instead obeying diktats from globalist bodies like the UN, World Health Organization, World Economic Forum and others. We are living in a new world and many of us want the old world back. For Britain will absolutely restore our free speech, sensible taxation and will tell the truth about climate change, coronavirus and other global issues that are catapulting us in the direction of global governance. The Conservatives must be held to account for this. They must answer for this betrayal. Thank you for watching. If you would like to stay updated with all of our latest videos, please like the video below and subscribe to our channel. As you probably know, For Britain is shadow banned on most social media, so it's really important to like and share our videos in order to get our message out. Thanks again for helping us to fight back. Thanks again for helping us to bring back Britain. Thank you.